today we're going to be looking at how to use your SMQV or SMV transmitters. SMV on the left, SMQV on the right. They're identical transmitters. The only difference is on the SMQV you have an extra battery that just increases battery life. And that's about it. They're about the same transmitter otherwise. Okay, so we're going to be looking at the SMQB for this one. All right, so let's look at the components of this transmitter. It has a detachable antenna that you can screw on and unscrew. So we have the antenna here. This one is a block 19, and we'll talk about blocks and frequencies on another video. But this one is on block 19, and it tells you the frequencies that that block covers. If this antenna breaks, you just need to get a replacement, and you just have to screw it in, and then you're all good to go, right? Right next to it, we have a connection. It's called the TA5 because it has five pins one two three four five that's where the microphone plugs in on the front here we have the where we access the matrix and we change things and we have only four buttons here that's it really simple and then on the back here we have the battery door uh, so we have to unscrew this one a little bit don't go all the way because if you go all the way this thing just pops out through a little bit until we can twist it open like this so we can insert some batteries i like to use energizer batteries because they last the longer they give you the better battery life uh, out of all of them two lithium batteries inside of an smqv will last about 10 10 to 12 hours almost a whole day of work that is if you're using it at 100 milliwatts if you use it at 50 milliwatts that will be like 16 hours or something it's kind of crazy i like to use energizers uh, especially when i'm doing like really serious work and i don't want to be bugging actors so i'm just gonna put them in here positives go first so on both so battery goes like that, down the barrel, this one too, down the barrel, my thumb on my index finger, I like to do it like this so I have a nice seal. In order to turn this on, you have to hold audio and frequency at the same time, press and hold. And you need to hold for three seconds if for some reason you guys do not hold for three seconds the transmitter is gonna appear to be on but it's not gonna be transmitting and i'm gonna demonstrate that real quick i'm gonna shut it off again holding three seconds and now check this out i'm gonna press audio and frequency for one second and you guys look what's gonna happen It says RF off. You might think because you're getting um, the green light here and the screen looks lit up, you might be thinking this is a transmitter that's on, but it's actually not even transmitting anything. Audio and frequency. Hold it down for three seconds. One, two, three. And then you can let go. And it's going to go through the cycle. Right now, this transmitter is currently set at 23 audio level. They go all the way up to 40 something, I think. So that's the basics how to turn it on. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to change the level on this transmitter, okay? So you're going to hold audio. On this right side of the transmitter, you have an up and down arrow. So you're going to press audio down and either go up or down, depending on what you want to do. If you want to increase the level, you go up. If you want to attenuate the level, you go down. You press audio and you go either up or down. So that's how to change the audio level. So now, if we need to change a frequency, we just press the button that says Freak, and it's gonna tell you what frequency this transmitter is currently uh, using. So we're using 511, 200. And if you press again, it's gonna give you the electrosonics one, and that's channel F8. And that's just to represent the number. Let's say we need to go to 511, 300. Same thing we did with the audio level. We're gonna press down frequency, and then we're gonna go either up or down. But in this case, we want to go to 511, 300, so we go up. And there you go. We just changed the frequency of this transmitter. That's basically it for audio and frequency. There's another feature in this transmitter that's the uh, low pass frequency. Same thing if we need to change. Right now it's currently set at 70 hertz. Pretty good, I think. It's a, it's a, it's a nice number. But you could either, you go to all the way to 250 or 150. So that's pretty aggressive. So you got 35, 50, 70, 100, and 120, 150. So you have options here for this. Uh, I like to keep it at 70 because that's pretty much to clean some of that low nastiness. That's the basic menu of the SMQV or the SNV. These two transmitters look exactly the same and they function the same. Now I'm going to show you guys real quick the 
hidden menus that this transmitter might not let you change once it's on. You need to shut it off and you need to do some, some trickery in order to change that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to change the comp compatibility mode, how to change the power, and how to change other features inside of the transmitter like the backlit and some other features that I'll show you in a minute. What we have to do is we need to shut it off. And remember to shut it off, we need to press audio and frequency for three seconds. Now that it's off, we need to hold once audio, frequency, and the arrow going up at the same time. So we're gonna try to do it. It's kind of tricky sometimes, so you gotta practice. So I'm gonna do it one time here. Boom, I hit it, and now it doesn't say audio level like it did before. It says CP, compatibility mode. And that just means that this transmitter is compatible with older electrosonics receivers and newer electrosonic receivers. Right now it's set up at the 400, but you could use, you could go compatibility mode 3, 200, 100, 6, IFB, or 400. I like to keep it at 400 because that's the one that I'm currently using right now. Okay, so now that's one of them. So you can just press any two, any one of these and it will change to the next menu. So now that we decided the compat compatibility mode, we can also change the power. Currently set up at 50 milliwatts but we could go all the way to 250. This power function is for if you want to increase the power that this transmitter is actually sending out to the air. 50 milliwatts is fairly low uh, then we got 100 and then we got 250. Just to put things in perspective most Sennheiser G3s and G4s they transmit at 30 milliwatts not even 50 so that's power wise and then we press audio again and it's going to tell the backlight and then it's gonna stay on for five seconds, 30 seconds, always on. I like to keep it at five seconds because that increases battery life again. It also gives you the step gain, uh, the step uh, increase. So this is for fine tuning. If you have to do uh, a specific frequency, you can either go 25 or 100 steps. I keep it at 100 because that's just how I like to use it. That's basically it. We cycle through all the menus here. And you might be thinking this is on, but it, again, this is not transmitting any signals right now. We need to shut it off and then turn it on again and uh, hold for three seconds. And it's gonna tell you the changes we just did. We, sh we just, we actually didn't change anything. 450 audio level at 23. So that's, it. Uh, there's another one that you can lock this transmitter, hitting these two at the same time. So if you try to change something, it will not let you. So that's good if you want to give it to somebody that you might be thinking is going to mess with it or just to be extra secure. Maybe you're really paranoid. <laughs> and in order to unlock it, the way I do is I just shut the unit off, open the battery compartment and then turn it on again. Because I actually don't know how to unlock it an SMQV without the Electrosonics app. So that's basically it for this SMQV. Another thing is really cool about these transmitters, it really sets them apart from the rest. There's an app called Electrosonics, Electro RM. And on this app, you guys can change the volume, you can change the frequency, you can change, you can put it to sleep, you can lock the transmitter, you can change its power. This, the way this app works, it sends a dwindle tone. It sounds like this. It's sending information to the microphone. It's pretty cool because you can use your phone. You don't have to go and mess up with the, the settings on the actual like, transmitter. Once you hide it, you don't have to touch it. Let me know if you have any questions about these transmitters. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys real soon.